the laundry room I sleep. Golden Eagle, Jake Barnes. Giant Slayer, tactical skill. His first skill. Let's get stuck in. We know that it's a 1,500 damage coefficient skill. It does come with a little bit extra. We do like our little bit extras. However, this one comes with a caveat. It requires the target to have sloped armor. If it doesn't have sloped armor, you're actually losing out on damage. Um, I don't hate this officer, but I don't like this skill. I don't think that the... But the only time this officer comes into any serious consideration is when you're up in gold and everyone's running 9.0s and up. If you are in silver like myself, I don't think this is a particularly good officer. Um, well, a particularly good skill. Uh, there are other skills out there that deal more damage and also do extras uh, for that. Normally, the bit extra would always award you a 5. I'm afraid this does net you a 4 because it comes with a caveat that the armor needs to be higher. So we are going to score this one a 4 out of 5. I know there's going to be a lot of people screeching at me. Yeah, I thought this was a good officer. Yeah, it's okay, I guess. Okay, his second ability. Heat rounds. Increases the damage... This officer's troop deals to tanks and helicopters by up to 20%. Again, this is a beautiful skill, but it comes with a caveat. If you're not attacking either of those two units, it's a wasted skill. So it comes across as a 4 only. So you're losing out on 20% of your damage against infantry, which means if you are being attacked by an infantry unit at your base and you have this guy sitting in your defensive uh, setup somewhere you've already lost out um, on a potential of uh, anywhere of 160 to 320 points worth of coefficient damage and now another 20 percent of unit damage in addition to that so this does get a four it does have its place doesn't have its place in my lineup but it's okay it's not a terrible skill fragmentation his special ability his third ability uh, it does get a 4, it's a, it's a crit strike rating, it's the standard crit strike rating, it's not the best, it's not the worst. It's a 4 because we like our crit strike ratings, it doesn't get used anywhere nearly enough by loads of people, but we're going to give it a 4. Best of the best. Increases the damage resistance of this officer's troop by up to 15%, and increases the damage resist of your base by up to 10% when this officer is garrisoned there. Very good skill. If you're a defensive player like myself, this is almost a must somewhere in your lineup. Um, it does make it, it does it does give him some saving grace as a defensive officer. Um, he is a field attack officer, so it has its place. And if you log out and he is inside your base it is going to continue to contribute for that i would be i would be out of my mind not to give it a five it is easily one of the best defensive skills in the game easily one of the best defensive skills in the game i've had a bit of a think about it it's taken me five minutes but i've had a i've had a really good think about it firestorm new skill passive skill this officer's troop deals 20% extra damage with normal attacks. Its normal attacks ignore 10% of the enemy's damage resist up to 15%. It's a 2 out of 5 from me. Now, that gives him that gives him a lovely fresh score of 3.8 out of 5. Now, before you guys go what the hell... I've just spent five minutes reviewing this skill against other awakened skills of officers I would deem to be in his bracket. So field attack officers or officers that you would use in a similar role such as Valkyrie. Valkyrie very specifically because 
of the awakened ability so we'll just break down the awakened ability right quick and why i don't like it we're going to go from the bottom to the top the in bracket up to 15 percent damage resist it gives no indication no indication of how it is increased up to 15 percent we don't know what mechanics are in play so I mean, we can't even really bring that into the equation. So that's unfair. It really shouldn't be in there. Ignores 10% of the enemy's damage resist. Sounds good until you realize that it is not applicable by other targets. And I'll explain what I mean with Valkyrie as the example in a minute. And lastly, increases the officer's troop damage by 20 percent sounds really 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 good but it isn't really is it you have to get him awakened to get a 20 percent damage increase just 20 percent well we already got 20 percent against vehicles here that's a trainable skill okay was necessary don't feel guilty you got a 25 percent buff here the damage output so that 20 percent isn't that great i'm not in the mood to fight today there's painting to be done normal attack damage buff 7.5 percent comes with an additional 40 percent penetration damage i'll follow orders this time pinky swear Firepower buff of up to 50%. One of the substats for firepower is damage. The battlefield is a place I call home. Damage buff up to 15%. Trainable skill. I can load a rocket launcher in my sleep. It's nothing special. It really is nothing special. The extra damage you can deal is kind of pointless. If you're in a situation where you're chasing down a, an enemy unit, because let's be honest, if you're using him in a helicopter, you're using that helicopter to chase down enemy units. You can train 20% damage. You can train specifically this 20% damage on her. And if you're inside Alliance territory, that goes up. The firepower buff is up to 30%. Well, it goes up by an additional 5 if you're inside Alliance territory. So it's 35% firepower, of which damage is a substat. But this is why. Okay, this character here is why that scores a 2. This is another character that everyone uses on their helicopters and MBTs. Rightly so. She's a very good character. I don't even really see the point of me actually reviewing this character, if I'm perfectly honest. But here we go. When she's awakened, so it's the same. It's, it's in the same bracket. We're talking awakened character here. Whenever this officer's tank or helicopter troop attacks an enemy ground force, troop the attack has a 40 percent chance to inflict sundered armor on the target for four seconds reducing the target's damage resist by 20 percent can be triggered once every two seconds if a target already is affected by sundered armor this skill instead deals damage to the target damage coefficient 200 you get a free damage coefficient you get 20 percent damage resist reduction but it's applied to the target so all sources benefit so this is a an ability that works off your normal attacks and it benefits everyone this is an ability that works with your normal attacks and it only benefits the unit you're in and if the unit you're in doesn't have a lot of firepower or doesn't have an extreme amount of damage output this is a complete waste i'm sorry i don't often recommend him to people and this is the reason why i was originally going to score this a three 
But then I thought about it and I thought, well, hang on, Valkyrie has an awakened ability that works off auto attack. Let's just compare the two. Um, guys, everyone on the internet says this is the best uh, versatile officer that you can get. I disagree. I disagree heavily. We all know that I think that's Warrior Wiz. He's not getting used enough. I have actually seen only a handful of people use him. I've seen one person run him so far this L4, which has made my day. I thought, excellent, someone else has recognized the power of Warrior Wiz. Maybe he watches this. I don't know. I highly doubt it. Like most of you guys are from HP or Salt. So there's a couple of you who hang around from elsewhere, but that's not the point. The skill itself is very selfish it only benefits the unit you're on it will not benefit an ag it will not benefit um your damage coefficient which if you saw my pvp video that i uploaded recently your damage coefficient can be a very large amount of your damage output i mean if you're going to be selfish in one area you want to be selfish selfish in your damage coefficient and he doesn't do that he tries to with his bonuses to his damage coefficient but that is reliant on the target having sloped armor if the target doesn't have sloped armor then it's not really applied so infantry artillery anti-tank guns uh helicopters only get an eight i think only get like up to 180 sloped damage in silver so you're only getting the the 80 bonus for being over 100 because it's for every 100 millimeters it's applied 80 so is it really worth having this guy for 1580 damage coefficient to hunt down helicopters when you could have lady justice do 1500 and slow down the target has a higher critical strike rating has the same damage resist buff and has a firepower buff increase as well firepower also affects uh, reload time which is good because if you're running a helicopter with uh justice and valkyrie uh valkyrie's awakened ability works off the attack rate at how often it can be applied and we'll we'll just we'll just show you that so you know i'm not completely talking out my backside how it's a sure why not firepower so these are the stats for firepower you've got damage firing rate and hit rate so firepower affects these three substats plain and simple higher firepower you get more damage you get more uh, fire rate you get a higher hit rate firepower is significant okay especially if you're hunting other units for one-on-one -on -one battles very very significant because you want a high high you want a high attack rate especially if you're hunting down reserves and resupplies i can't stress it enough i personally don't think that golden i personally don't think golden eagle is a particularly good officer he does have place he does have a place in your setup he can have a place in your setup if you have a good vanguard mbt <clears throat> and you're doing specifically tank to tank battles i would not use this guy on a helicopter i just wouldn't if i was going to go for survivability on a helicopter i would use whip cracker if i was going to go for utility and damage i would go for lady justice that's assuming i don't have warrior wiz available to me because obviously not everyone is he's no longer available other officers i would choose over him for helicopters um I wouldn't. I've tested it. Golden Eagle is better. So this is the only other guy I would think about putting on a helicopter. And he comes last. Golden Eagle comes second. So you've got a couple of options available to you. Um, Lady Justice. Whipcracker. 
and Warrior Wiz. Not necessarily in that order, it depends on how you're going to use your, your unit. But this has been a long video. I actually got to the end here and <clears throat> I've been recording this now for half an hour. I, I, I kind of think I've made my point. Um, Golden Eagle, Jake Barnes. He's good, but he ain't that good. Sorry, guys.